We are learning more about food programs for schools in Durham and Johnston County. Now in Durham, they'll start next Monday and continue for two weeks. That's also the same day supplemental learning activities will become available for students. Johnston County started giving out meals at 13 different sites today. We have the times and locations for both systems on CBS17.com. Now the coronavirus is prompting some changes for Meals on Wheels as senior citizens are considered some of the most vulnerable to the virus. CBS 17's Jamise Price shows us those new changes and how that can impact hundreds in our community. You need bread? The volunteers inside this Meals on Wheels in Wake County are busy. Really? 383 meals getting packed up and ready to go. And that's just at this location. In all, about 1,500 Wake County seniors are delivered lunch Monday through Friday. Beef and broccoli, carrots and rice. But the coronavirus is prompting some changes on how seniors will get their meals as guidelines for the coronavirus gets tighter. We're using a lot more gloves, um, sanitizer to clean the surfaces, hand sanitizer for the people who are delivering the meals. It's something drivers are being more conscious about. We saw it firsthand when volunteer Roger Quarter dropped off lunch to Larry Sanders' home. Here's your meal for today. Right, thanks, sir. We, right. we can deliver the meals without going into people's homes. Uh, you know, we can meet them at the door and, and pass the, the food over to them. Um, we certainly aren't staying and, and visiting a long time. It's those extra precautions that have family members grateful. They are making sure that they're safe as well as the people that they're serving because their safety is also a concern. A lot of the volunteers are sometimes older. Looking out for you, so you don't have to be out there in the environment. <laughs> and, you know, take a lot of stress on you worry about going out catching the, you know, coronavirus. Mills on Wheels has also closed dining rooms at its Wake County locations, now offering curbside pickup for those who may need it. And some of the volunteers are no longer able to serve. They're considered to be a part of that vulnerable population, but other people have stepped up to fill the void. In Raleigh, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.